Hello. 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 What can we do for you? Hi. Hi, is this Luis? No. What can we do for you? Uh, is Luis there? I have a... Uh, I might be able to help him with the problem he's got. No, he's not here. Uh, can I leave a message? Um, yeah. He's going on and on and on about the problems he's having with remanufacture versus rebuilt versus all these other things, and he's approaching it from the wrong angle. There's already several um, industries out there that have long-established uh, remanufactured, rebuilt, remanufactured that it has set a long-term precedent that present, prevent you from being sued or anything else like that, and I wanted to discuss it with him. Yeah. All right, I will let him know. Thank you very much for the call. Really appreciate it. Right, bye-bye. Uh, sure, you want to take my number? Ah. More MacBooks. Oh, no. Another MacBook. No. No. Not another MacBook. No. I don't want to fix another MacBook. So we don't get a green light in the charger, and there's no fan spin. So we're going to check and see if PP3v42 is present. Now, PP3v42 is created by U7090. This is going to take power from either the charger itself. It's just going to, when Q7010 opens, going to take power from the charger and send it to... Uh, this diode, there's a fuse on each side, which is going to be represented by a resistor. You have one fuse for power from the battery and the other for power from the charger. Now, since it can input from the battery of the charger, you don't want power from the charger to go directly to the battery, which is why you have this dual diode configuration here. This chip is then turned on by a heavy voltage being present at the shutdown pin, as long as you have more than, I think, two volts at the SHDN, which stands for shutdown without a vowel, via R7080, it will automatically turn the chip on and so that it does not shut down. Remember, this is underscore L, meaning shut down when it's low. So when this signal is low, underscore L is in zero volts, chip will not turn on. And then it's going to do the switching at the coil and capacitors to ground right here. And then you're going to get PP3V42. So let's see if we get PP3V42 on L7095. We get Nothing. 208 millivolts. Now, what's this? Where I'm supposed to have a resistor, it seems it's gone. I wonder what that says on here. Well, you know, that's R7080. <laughs> R7080 is the resistor that's going to go between the input and the shutdown pin. Now, we could get up and get a resistor... But I feel like going back to sleep in my chair. So what we're going to do is something like more like this. Yeah. So fine. See, your ohm resistor is a wire, right? And I do this. I have to get up to get a resistor. I have to get up to get a wire. <laughs> Sleepy time. If Larry Sharp wins the governor's race, maybe I'll be able to go to sleep again. I sure would like to go to sleep again.
We're not going to burn the Wi-Fi antenna. We're not going to burn the Wi-Fi antenna. We're not going to burn the Wi-Fi antenna. We're totally not going to burn the Wi-Fi antenna. Because we're half asleep. No driving half asleep. No driving drunk. Exercise at the gym. Still kisses with saliva. We're half the way there. There's a green light on the charger. Now an orange light. See that? MacBook is starting to work. Unfortunately, MacBook still needs to be fixed. 8.6 volts on our PP bus. Why are you still dead, MacBook? If you're still dead, that means I still have to work. Someone says, I remember it used to be against MGTOW. MacBooks generally take owner's wealth. No, I've been I, I've been preaching that for a long time. I've been telling people for over almost almost ten years now that MacBooks will take your money when you, know, you shouldn't buy them. But the thing is, people don't listen to me when I say that. Nobody takes me seriously, and they keep buying them, and then complaining when condensation kills them. I told you so, mofo. But you decided to keep buying those MacBooks. RTC chip corrosion. Attack. If they stop buying them, then you're out of a job. Yes, and then I can finally get some sleep. I could use some sleep. I'm tired. Do you know how long I've been reviving crap books for? I've been reviving crap books for a long time, man. These shit tops. Garbage. It's abortion of a technology. You little. F Ew, this is definitely not going to have a backlight if I don't fix that. Look at that LED driver, it just done shit itself. You still don't turn on. Is PP5 ES5 present on this MacBook? Yes, it is. Is PP5 ES4 present on this MacBook? It is not. The enable is not present. PP3V3S5 is present. PPVRTC is present, though the RTC chip does look like it took a shit. 
That's important. Here we go. Clock chip was missed, causing our PM sleep S4L to be missing. So now we have a spinning fan. So check that out. The clock chip can actually cause PM sleep S4L to be missing, even if the RTC voltage is present. So even if RTC voltage is present, one of the things you may have noticed is that this was the pin that was broken. Right down here, there was only half a pad. And this is pin 12 is for the PCH 32 kilohertz clock signal. And that is going to go to the CPU, the PCH side of the CPU over here. That's important. That's important. So you need your 32 kilohertz clock. If you don't have your 32 kilohertz clock, it won't work. So I should go back to some of the boards that I said F it to, and you never know. Maybe they have a bad clock chip. By the way, if you need a clock chip, if you need a clock chip, and you're not sure where to get a clock chip, Look no further. Store.rosmangroup.com. Don't delay. Buy today. And you can get chips just like these. It'll tell you what's compatible with your board. It'll show you a picture of what it looks like in high resolution of both sides. It'll give you the list of, com of things it's compatible with. You can even ask product questions that will be answered by other members. Or... You can live chat and talk to a tech. Or you can contact us. Or you can read about us. Or you can just look at our reviews and see how awesome we are. Because we are that awesome. 4.9 overall rating. You're not going to find that anywhere else. Nope. This is the best place you can go to buy these parts. Don't delay. Buy today. <sighs> Russian Repair Group. Hey, is this uh, Rossman? Luis Rossman? How can we help? Rossman Repair Group. Yeah, I just called there like two seconds ago to offer my help, and you didn't even like take my phone number. So I tell you what, 
since I went out of my way to call you to try you to help you out. You sound like you're out of your mind. I, I would suggest that you stop calling. Have a nice day.